Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of adnexal dermoid cyst. Dermoid cyst is a very common case in our practice. We have already uploaded a few cases. You can also check them to get an idea about different findings of dermoid cyst. A 39 year old female patient came with lower abdominal pain. She was gone through a trans abdominal ultrasound and was diagnosed as a case of complex adnexal cyst. Now she was referred to us for further evaluation on transvaginal ultrasound. Let's see what we have got on transabdominal ultrasound first. Here you can see the transabdominal ultrasound of the pelvic region. You can see the uterus in longitudinal and transverse sections. You can see a cystic lesion at the left adnexal region with internal ecogenic component. Here is the measurement of the uterus. It is slightly elongated but not a bulky one. Here is the left adnexa where you can see a cystic lesion. It apparently looks aniquic except for this ecogenic component. Now we want to evaluate it with transvaginal ultrasound. This is the area of cervix and you can see a cystic lesion here. I don't know why in my practice I get so many cases of Nebothian cysts while doing transvaginal ultrasound. Tell me in the comment section below about your experience. Here is the right ovary. It's enlarged in size and you can see some tiny follicles. Now let's look at the left adnexa. Here on left adnexa, you can see a well-defined unilocular cystic lesion. It has got thin wall with smooth inner margin. There is no papillary projection or septation. The lesion is casting posterior acoustic enhancement here. The left ovary is not separately visualized. If you look at the inner component, you can see it's not any quick. Rather, you can see numerous thin ecogenic lines and dots within the fluid content. It is forming the dot dash pattern which indicates the dermoid mesh. You can also see an ecogenic component. This ecogenic structure is casting a little posterior acoustic shadow and is located at the dependent part. So within a dermoid cyst, if you see this calcified area casting posterior acoustic shadow, this is usually tooth component. Do you know how can we confirm this thing as a tooth on ultrasound? Here is the picture, we have got the measurement here and the cystic lesion is around 9 cm by 7 cm. As it's a typical dermoid cyst with a less than 10 cm maximum diameter, we'll give it urats 2. Now here we have put color doppler and as you expect there is no vascularity inside and no peripheral prominent vascularity also. So the color score will be 1. Here's again another picture and you can see this cystic lesion at the left adnexa with internal dead dosh pattern and a calcified structure casting a little acoustic shadow. My transvaginal transducer was regular two-dimensional one but it can reconstruct a 3D image by manual movement. So we have took a 3D image though it's a poor quality but I definitely have some intentions to show you the real need. This is the picture of the dermoid cyst. I'm not interested to show you this picture only. I have asked you a question about how you can confirm that calcified structure as a tooth. So here you can see the picture I have made from this 3D data. And here you can see this calcified structure within the cyst cavity. How does it look? In my opinion, this structure is a molar tooth. What do you think about that? Definitely tell me on the comment section. So in summary, a well-defined thin-walled unilocular cystic lesion of about 9 cm by 7 cm size, casting posterior acoustic enhancement with smooth inner margin, no papillary projection or septation, is noted arising from the left adnexa without a separately visualized left ovary. 
Numerous thin, echogenic lines and dots are seen within the fluid content forming the dot dash pattern indicating the dermoid mesh. An echogenic component casting acoustic shadow is also noted within which is probably a molar tooth. Color Doppler shows no flow within the internal contents and obviously there was no prominent peripheral flow also. There is no ascites or lymphadenopathy. So this feature is concluded to be a case of left adnexal dermoid cyst which will get URAT's score of 2 and color score of 1. Now the take home message. An adnexal cyst with internal echogenic components showing sound attenuation or casting acoustic shadows is nothing but a dermoid. Don't forget to check for increased vascularity and ascites to exclude malignant transformation. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.